Welcome here to Brunkgard here for the Swiss uh, Grand Prix for 1937. As we're here in our high union as usual. As we need to roll on down towards the start finish line. And maybe pass a couple cars coming into the first couple corners. As we're doing eight laps here. Past three cars already with the Mercedes getting it passed around. We get or get past by me again as we go almost three wide through there. Uh, I guess we're just seeming the most. Last smoke of a head, too. So roll down the hill. Up to another section I gotta look out for for the AI. Because they really like to check up during this corner. Looks like they uh, behaved well through there. So we got two German cars in front of us one on Union, one Mercedes. I got a couple of uh, other events after this season that I would like to do that I'll be doing. They're not the type of events that you'll be thinking of. Uh, but they will be from this season now, simply. But they won't be uh, these types of cars. They will be some good old British cars and some good old British tracks. British racing. With maybe a little bit of inaccurate starting fields, but I think that's what makes the fun of it. That's why I like just throwing all the cars in here and see what type of people join in in this race. And the points are looking up for us, and that I'm just okay. It's these words, man. Points are looking good for us as long as we don't crash, we don't spin, or like, just don't crash, don't crash out of the race, we, uh, we need to do as we're behind that Mercedes, it's trying to do that. I believe this is still Richard, uh, it could be, uh, Rudolph. So he's slowly getting around this corner, getting in contact with the number three there. Rolling down the street. No traction whatsoever on the. What would you call this? I forgot what you call the, uh, this type of surface as we're getting really sideways. As we come down. As we pass the line already. Trying not to slam the wall on the outside. I've done that a lot. I believe is an Alfa Romeo or a Maserati. One of those two. I don't think he's an Aerotype B car. His Rosemeyer is the 17th right now. That's not good for him. Uh, well, he probably got a position to the right now for a particular there. Uh, Richard Seaman is still 14, he looks like. And I believe the first three cars are Alfa Romeo. Not. Believe there's one here. cars. That makes us 
eighth coming up to this corner that makes me think that I can go faster than what I actually can. What makes me slam it in the walls a couple times. We're gonna have to pit, I believe, as there's a checkup and a car broken down straight here, so I just passed a couple cars get fourth now. So two laps in or a fourth. To the high speed section through here. Ernest is tenth on the ticker, but I believe I already passed him earlier in the lap for one of the Mercedes that I passed. Really get why there. I'm only gonna show the uh, top 10 the point standings for uh, the final point standings in the Italian Grand Prix video because I am not gonna go through all that 17 or uh, point drivers uh, entry, especially when they change. Change a lot, so we're gonna have to. Let me show you the top 10. It might not be correct because my mind and math hurts, but it's fine as we get through turn one. Downhill, back uphill under here. Also, there's a couple more series of racing that I also want to do for uh, these Grand Prix cars. Um, for this era of Pre Warrior, it might be just single races up to this. But, um, close for I'm probably going to be doing a 1951, 55, 58, and 1960 season, or F1. Um, only 1955 being GPL and the other seasons of uh, R Factor. That's the only, uh, series I can get, or the only game I can get those on. Slow car again. Has looked like he's gonna be able to make it to the next lap, or he's gonna make it on this lap coming up to the next lap. Because we're right behind the up yeah, that's third, right or second right now. As we passed the car, that was third, and I believe that might have been the leader. Yeah, that was the leader that ducked up in the pits. So we're gonna have to pit at some point unless he has damage. Gonna change this whole race because it might be another dub for me if I get lucky. Because I've only lost one race so far, and that was Monaco. Just because our cars aren't built for that track, but I'm still surprised a British car won that race. Also, it seems like the Mercedes. And our Union cars aren't doing as good as real life. It seems like Alfa Romeo's has been really helping their game and simulation type. Simulation ways. 
to get really squirrely. Try not to dump ourselves, but also try to get up to first here. Throwing a car around. Bridges out for me, I was pulling out ahead, which is really not what's supposed to happen here. Um, and I believe there's a, gonna be a Mercedes catching us here in a second. I think I'm just not as expertise as AI here, especially on this, whatever you call this type of surface. I keep forgetting. I don't know, it doesn't give you traction or so, um, let's see what we do here. We pit or we not pit, let's see. I don't think we do just because we still have a little bit left, so I'm gonna go into the yellow. Get down here, since we're gonna slap the wall, shoot. I think I could have probably made it if I didn't lock a brake. And of course, there's a another broken out for mail, I bet. That's clogging up the field, trying to wait for an opening as we kind of contact the out for mail. That's Clumwa, which was out for a mail. And he decides to retire right in front of us as the field's all jacked up. So, not a good way to do that. Oh, 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 oh,
lap because I don't want to risk running out. Hopefully our pit's not the first one. And it's a little bit further down, of course. Gotta wait here first so we can fill her up. So we get ready to come back out there. As you see, Maseratis and Alfa Romeos, which were lap down cars passed by. Or, well, w one of those Alfa Romeos were on the lead lap, but the Maseratis and a couple of those Alfa Romeos were on the, on the lap down type. Okay, well, that was weird. Uh, lap down part as there's a crash. They have crashed down the straightaway, and that's gonna make an R out for a male with no tire. I'm gonna see. Okay, good. He didn't try to reverse right in front of me. That's why I was slowing down. Okay, yep, turn one. That was kind of weird. And we're still first, so I'm guessing now for a male pit. Night pit. So, here that are. I just passed them. Like, that's what could have happened as we dumped it ourselves. We're fine. If I tip it, then that's where we end it. Or, like, break a tire or something. Besides that, the car feels fine. Because there's an alpha male behind us, which is probably second place. Uh, which probably was in the pits, not Mercedes, but was technically third. I got crashed. Hopefully, we don't see if that was second. As I don't see him anymore. Did he run off track? I think he ran off track. I saw him for a split second and he looked like he was in the grass. And uh, I think he is out of the race too. That's unfortunate.
there's just not much to say for this race now that I just kind of got away from everybody because of people wrecking. As we get brakes down the corner as our say is really slow in front of us. Um, is here uh, Richard or uh, Rudolph? As we roll up the hill. Let's try to stay behind him, try not to force the issue without uh, or for, we can force the issue just now any crashes like that as he really goes wide and grinds up against my car. And as long as it's not me flying in the air, that's fine. So we're gonna try to get through him. And we're trying to cross it over, but we're, instead we uh, slam in the back of him. Just don't hit any uh, wall, because I know there's a wall coming up. Okay, I guess we weren't even close to it. So, that's good. We're still living. Our front end would have been kind of bashed in right now with all the wrecks we have. But all that means is now I have clean, clean room for the rest of this lap. We roll on by that corner. I got the brakes. First gear roll through this corner. Uphill. Up to the uh, fast section here as we uh, miss shift a little bit. Roll down the war down the uh, straightaway here into this fast uh, left hander. You got four feet a little lift there. We're gonna get hard on the brakes to get the third, second. Just let it roll as long as it doesn't go too far into the wall. Okay, we just go off grass, it's fine. Now, here's a really fast section. Now we can kind of pin it get third gear once we ready to. There we go. I don't say he's been banner there. Get brakes second. Roll it through this corner. Get back on the throttle. We're gonna try to open up the entry to uh, the uphill corner up here. It seems a little bit of the hairpin. <laughs> Which is tech technically the last hard corner of the, of the track. The la last couple of corners are kind of sleepers. To uh, the sweeping left hander and to the sleeping right hander, and then the right hander after the flag. So we're gonna roll, roll down. Ugh, words. We're gonna fly by the stands as we're gonna take the checker flag, and we're gonna win here. From guard, the Swiss Grand Prix. Get back to pits. So airtight B car is leading in second right now, and Narwin's leading third right now. And Narwin, where is man? I don't. Uh, I don't think he's. He might be past them, but I, I can't really tell right now. But I'll be it for this video, we'll see you guys in the next one.